name is uh, Martial Yapo. Um, I'm from France, Normandy. I grew up uh, in uh, the main city, Rouen. I've been here in the United States since uh, 2007. I came up with the idea of creating black stores with them. Um, uh, I wanted to, to so I like how in, in America we celebrate uh, black art and black culture, but I wanted to be able to to look at it from my perspective. Like, you know, I'm obviously not African-American, but I'm African-French. And then my perspective is, um, uh, what is the story uh, of African-American before everything that happened? And, and I wanted to find like the, the, the focus point in between the African-Americans and the Africans, where I position myself in this story. And, and that's how everything started. The general idea was um, to work into the frame of the American flag. You know, I wanted to uh, uh, kind of like uh, de deconstruct the American flag uh, without disrespecting the flag, just like, you know, to be able to like insert the story. Uh, in it and replacing the stars of the American flag by those, uh, by those African masks. Each African mask represents different culture and different um, uh, uh, ethnicity because uh, African masks are very important in, um, in uh, animist religion. They are all are very powerful and they, they carry uh, uh, different souls or different energy, uh, uh, good or bad, and, uh, I'm, and I want to be able to like uh, to uh, to set them up and d like recreate them in a way where they all look different. You know, you know you ha you have some with uh, with some uh, hair, some with dreadlocks, some with like a different hairdo, some with different features. You know, and um, and we'll say it says a lot about like how we, uh, we, we view the different origin of those people. Some from uh, uh, Senegal or some from Ivory Coast or Nigeria don't have the same features in the same religion. And that's what I wanted to be able to like portray by lining them up in the flag. But also like uh, uh, there's the other aspect where I wanted the cases of wood to remind how the enslaved were um, uh, packed in those uh, uh, ship, you know, how they were like lined up, you know, one after another, like animals. And, uh, and that's the reason why we have all of them aligned this way with like uh, uh, those cases um, uh, next to them. I'm come from uh, I'm come from a family of nine, you know, um, uh, four brothers, four sisters. Uh, we we grew up like you know uh, in this house in Normandy, where um, you know uh, in the house was Ivory Coast, and when we were stepping out of the house, we were in France. So like I grew up with this like a strong and rich culture of um, Ivorian culture. Uh, uh, and I'm the last one of the nine, uh, uh, my nine siblings. Coming from this environment really shaped me on how I will, um, uh, how we conduct myself and how I will honor uh, everything I learned from uh, um, my culture. My mom was focusing on, on making sure we had an education and making sure we were good people. Uh, and for me, the way to give that back to her is by celebrating everything she, she taught us, like uh, culturally and with the tradition and like putting out there and telling story about it. My mom always like a, um, um, was very attached to make sure we knew where we were coming from and knowing our family, our grandfather, and like our uncle and aunts. Um, so I was in Ivory Coast a lot. How I get inspired by creating those masks with gas can come from there. 
because like I was seeing a lot of kids like uh, uh, repurposing things if they're like a, a system sustainable like a, a process on me repurposing things I think it's coming from that the fact like I was in Ivory Coast and seeing the kids repurposing everything to create something you know they were like so crafty cleaning cars with the uh, food cans or like uh, bottles and I was totally fascinated you know I was like um, age nine seeing those kids running in the street and like you know pushing those cars made with wire and uh, using uh, uh, tires to create uh, 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 like uh, smaller tires and it was just fascinating and I was just obsessed with like how they were creating that and that's funny because I feel like you know I wasn't realizing what I was seeing and the impact it would have on me later on in my life. Because, um, you know, I never did anything about it. I just like was looking, looking at it and like, you know, obsessing about it. Um, and then, uh, and that was it. I, I don't think I was able to understand and comprehend like the, the magnitude of what it was just happening uh, under my very eyes. And like 30 years later, I, you know, I'm able to like, kind of like bring that out uh, and like uh, understanding the connection now, you know. In 2006, and so that was the last time actually I went to Ivory Coast, um, you know, I came, I went there with an, an eye way more open to uh, receiving information and culture. And it was very interesting because uh, uh, people there were kind of like, uh, wait, but like, uh, you're not like us, <laughs> you know, you, you're French. And when I, I'm in France, like, you know, they're like, but you black, you know, like, you know what I mean? And so, uh, and that trip was very, uh, uh, was very interesting because it made me realize that I'm the one who decide who I want to be. I cannot wait for people to accept me. Uh, 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 and I have to create my my own, you know, my own little universe. And since then, 2006, I start like embracing uh, my dual culture, you know. Uh, and also, that's the reason why I, I'm also like to talk about my uh, my perspective uh, on that note in my artwork because, you know, being French and being African, it's it's a it's a it's a beauty, it's a, it's a treasure that I, I like to celebrate. Uh, and so, um, uh, yeah, and now it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs>
from my, my point of view. I tell stories through my art. I tell my stories and to the point where sometimes I'm like, okay, like I, I talk about me a lot, but it's not specifically me personally and my feeling. It's also like a wild um, topics of different things. Sometimes it's my, the, the tradition that my, my parents, you know, give me and my, my brother and sisters. Uh, sometimes it's, um, uh, you know, uh, political and sometimes it's social. And then, yes, I'm always involved in those stories because I want to be able to like um, uh, control the narrative uh, and also share a story in, in order to be more, um, to put more effect in it and more emotion. I like to do uh, what I call conscious art, meaning like, you know, everything I do has meaning and has, um, uh, I'm looking for a precise reaction or precise questioning about the, 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 the specific subject and, and, and that's what I want my art being about. I don't dis disregard the, the aesthetic aspect. I'm trying to combine everything together. The, 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 the story behind the, the art, the meaning, the consciousness, but also the aesthetic. And I'm trying to, um, to combine all of that together and make sure like, the, the, my point is getting across. And that's the reason why usually when I, uh, when I do an art show or an exhibit, I like to uh, present my work and talk about it in front of people for them to understand what is my point and what I'm trying to do. We all have a story to tell and, um, you know, by being uh, uh, genuine, sincere and, you know, kind of like accessible, that's the way people are going to uh, uh, understand your art, whatever art, and understand your story. Um, I like to, to come and with, um, with strong statements in what I'm talking about. Um, not necessarily uh, uh, attacking or aggressing directly, but coming from a, a point of view that uh, explains things and like uh, uh, start from an history uh, standpoint or social history standpoint. The research is a big part of my work. When I work on a subject, I always like um, I spend a lot of time researching or studying and making sure like I, I know what I'm talking about I don't make any uh, uh, mistake but also it's there's a um, uh, there's a personal aspect to it so like because I'm talking about me in the middle of my creative uh, space so even if this I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go along the the, the story the history I also gonna tell a story with it and I'm gonna give my perspective, and and then um, uh, and that's what's interesting on uh, uh, presenting my art to people when I do an art show because like I'm uh, I'm talking about my my view on the topic, and 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 I like to be able to create this conversation with the people who are coming to see my art. Trying to humanize uh, the subject and, like you know, put this, um, uh, those lives, uh, you know, uh, they were dismissed uh, and then ignore and uh, put light to it, and you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like saying like all those people they went on the Africans, they were mothers, they were fathers, sisters, uh, kings, queen, or uh, you know, workers, they were people and with traditions and culture and, and I wanted to be able to like, you know, stop on these like very things and, and you know, kind of like celebrating it. What I hope people to take uh, uh, with this installation is, um, you know, uh, no, the way we stop uh, uh, for Black History Month and like, you know, highlight uh, the Black history, but in the Black stories. And, you know, uh, 
uh, African history is part of the black uh, uh, stories that I think um, uh, we, we never know em enough because it, it, it's so uh, uh, large and you know, there's so much different uh, layers uh, to, to slavery and, and, all, and all of that. And I think like, you know, be able to, uh, to understand that um, the enslaved, you know, from, uh, they, they're from a, a country with uh, so much culture behind it. Uh, it's something that I, I want the people who come to the show um, uh, go home and, 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 and keep in their mind.